Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for next couple of days. Um, yeah, so we're just going to see what comes up. This reading is um, not sign specific. It may or may not be for you, okay? What do we have? What do we got? This is just a daily energy or it's some, some, something, okay? Uh, hmm. Something, something coming in. Whew, Nine of Swords. This is exhaustion. Nine of Swords, reverse, extremely exhausted. Somebody's gut is telling them that they need to give, give or they are giving deep thought, giving deep, 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 deep thought to a situation. And it's stressing them out, causing them to be overwhelmed. Somebody's overwhelmed, even if it's, I don't know what this is. This could be somebody that is overworking. This is needing to really, 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 really take a break. Three of Wands. Getting prepared. Looks to me as though... Something has arrived. Oh my God. Death. 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 The end. It's the end of waiting. It's arrived. The time has arrived. The time has arrived. Like I said, something has arrived. Something has come to an end. Right? Something has come. Death is a major change. Transformation. Now, I, I happen to notice the light in this card, and I didn't say it, but you see all the light, it's very bright, it's like a, it's very light. The Hierophant, now this, this, this is like a, a higher power, okay, this is like God. This is a higher power that is involved here. Um, it's like, you have these people that are saying their prayers. It's like God, and this the hand is pointing up to a higher power. It's like your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. What you asked for is arriving. Seven of Swords. Now, this Seven of Swords, this guy is uh, sneaking away. He is. He's sneaking away. Getting out of here. So. <clears throat> leaving the worry. Leaving the stress behind. So this guy is leaving the stress behind. I don't know. There could be a death. There could be an actual death. And I, I don't like to say that, but I, 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 there could be. Four of Swords? Oh my God. Take a look. There could be a death. What is that right there? Why do you do this to me? Please. Oh, so I don't know. I, I'm not trying to scare anybody. And I know that I will get people to say you shouldn't share a reading like that. <laughs> Be fake, Jennifer. Be fake. Don't tell the true story. Don't tell it like it is. Wrong channel. Anyhow, 
this is a death, okay? Whether it is a physical death or it is a um, internal death, okay? Y'all saw what just happened. This is this is the the end of the old, okay? This is the death of a person or an idea. There is an there's there's I mean, this is this can also be an extreme need to rest. Cuz this is slipping away. To get away, to get away from the stress. You know, maybe there's some sort of stressful situation that is killing you on the inside. Somebody may be feeling dead inside. But here, it's like the, this, this Three of Wands is, you know, seeing it, that something has arrived. Okay, something has arrived. Because that, that, that is an arrival. Something has arrived. It's like somebody has been getting prepared for this moment and the moment is here. The moment is here. Oh my God. Judgment Day. Please God, I don't like to deliver these kind of messages. I do not. Judgment Day. Okay, what is Judgment Day? It's a death and a rebirth. This is something that... That's what it is. I mean, what is Judgment Day? It's a card of release. It's time to forgive. We have somebody here that is going to get a wake-up call. They could get a wake-up call, and I'm not trying to scare anybody that somebody has passed away. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Or they could get a wake-up call that the past is dead. The past is dead. Forgive and release. It's time to begin again. It's time to resurrect. It's time for your new life. There is definitely a higher power involved here. Absolutely. Some, this is divine guidance. Somebody has been divinely guided that it's time to go. It's time to let go of that dead end. A dead end. It's time to let go. There's, this is a dead end. It's a dead end. Absolution. That's what the judgment card is. Absolution. Six of Cups. The past is dead. Release the past. You will always have the memories, but it is time to live again. You have to believe. You have to believe in new beginnings. Believe in yourself. Believe that there is a higher power. You will need to have faith that there is a higher power involved. The Six of Cups is a card of remembrance. 
That's what it is. So today will probably be a day of remembrance and releasing. Oh, God. Temperance, the time is now. The time is now. There is a reason. There is a purpose. Somebody has... It's basically the prayer. Seriously, some of these prayers have been answered. They are exchanging something for something better. The time is now. Three of Pentacles to. Uh, now, these are both cards of comprom comprom compromise and cooperation, both of them, and teamwork. To work with, the time is now, to work with someone else. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of reunion here. But it's not, and I know that a lot of you are going to automatically think it's somebody from your past. I don't think so. I think this is like a reunion on the other side. And I know that you don't want to hear this because I got a lot of people in fantasy land watching these videos. So, anyhow, um, this is a card of purpose. There is a reason. There is a reason for this. There is a reason why something did not work out. Because there's something better. So anyway, I feel like there is today is a day of absolution. It's a day of healing. It is it is a day of healing. It's a day, it's a very purposeful day, okay? I feel like there's something, the, the judgment is a card of so, something's going to happen, okay? This is an epiphany or an awakening of some sort. Somebody's going to get some sort of epiphany. There could be a reconciliation with the past for some of you. There could be. There could definitely be a reunion right here. There could be a reunion with somebody from the past, Or there could be a past life connection. This is a past life connection. All three of these cards really are. There could be a past life connection here. And it feels as though we have a new beginning. We do definitely have a new beginning here. Something is arriving that somebody asked for. It's like your, I know I've said this before. Your prayers have been answered. The time, It's definitely time. It's definitely time to release. This judgment is a card of acceptance. It's a card of forgiveness. And it's a card of release. Death is a card of change and release. And then we have the past here. Release the past. You are being divinely guided to do so. Somebody could be dealing with a cheater that they are holding on to. Just saying. And they've been so exhausted. They've been so frustrated holding on to this lie, this deceptive situation, that they have neglected to take care of themselves. And somebody may get some sort of awakening that says, Damn, there's got to be something better than this. And that's right here. So anyway, there is something better than this. There absolutely is. Somebody is so, 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 so close. And I feel like today is a serious day of serious release. It's a very powerful day, put it that way. We have a spiritual renewal here, here as well.
So it's like your soul is being healed through death. Somebody has been holding on to something, obsessed, obsessed with, obsessed with the past, obsessed with the past. I know I repeat myself, if you don't like it, too bad. This is being divinely guided to let go of the past. Let it go. The Emperor. <laughs> oh, the Emperor. The Emperor takes control. The Emperor uh, is very orderly, very hard working, somebody that is highly respected. Um, this person is strong. This person could be a father. This is a leader. This is a boss. This is a this is a protective energy. This is somebody who has a lot of wisdom that finds a lot finds their strength through experience. This person has a lot of life experience. So we have this very strong individual. And this guy is, it looks like he's like he's made his plan. Okay, he's made the plan. The plan is all in order. It's all in order. Okay, he he knows what he's gonna do next. The plan has already been made. He's He's been working on it. Everything is in order. Okay, so everything is in order. He's just waiting for the call. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is this is uh, letting go, letting go of materialistic situation. <laughs> this person letting go of assets. Letting this person is making a decision to let go of somebody that <laughs> is lazy. Okay, this person is lazy. This person is possessive. This person is jealous. This person is probably a financial mess, or this person is extremely greedy. Could go either way. But this is releasing somebody. Somebody is being released. I feel like this guy's been planning it and the time is now. It feels as though there is the death of something that brings two people together as well. It is probably going to bring... bring uh, uh, past life connection together or a reconciliation with somebody that you are meant to be with in the future because this is the future so I feel like there's a massive change here there absolutely is that is being divinely guided from above okay you see this guy's his hand is pointed up above okay so yeah, my stomach is growling. I do apologize if you heard that. Um, somebody is being divinely guided. To release, release. Follow the plan. Right now. It's time to work with somebody else. Just get out of there. This is too stressful. So today is the day of
somebody somebody is going to receive a wake up call. Okay, this is a wait right in the middle here. The judgment. The judgment is the truth. Something is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed that somebody has been waiting for. So the tr something is about to be revealed that you have been waiting for. Whatever this revelation is, it's gonna it's gonna change something. It's it's gonna change. It's gonna change the dynamics of of your life, of your life. So that is what today is about. Today is about um, it's like the time has arrived. To release. I mean, that's what it is. That death is release. It's change. It's transformation. Should we get an oracle card? I don't even know where they are. I don't even... I mean, I got a bunch of them here, but I don't really want to read, so I'm not... Well, we'll get one of these. What do we got? What do we got here? What's this for? This is for the 2nd, October 2nd. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. We have, we have a death and we have a rebirth. Something ends and something new begins. Instantly. Simultaneously. Something is ending and something new is beginning. All, all in the same moment. This is like evolution. This is part of the plan. Somebody has been planning this escape. And the time is now. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People in situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So today is a day of, of revelation, absolution. Releasing and major transformation. It's the end of what was. The time has come to drop it. Drop it. You can't fight it anymore. Like we said, was it yesterday? Can't fight gravity. Good luck.